Hello everyone. In the third update of these cycles, there are also some smaller features which, which are also pretty cool. You have always the physical glare node like in the previous version, but it became much, much faster and also has now higher quality. So for example, in this scene, if I now tweak the values for the strengths, You can see the update will come nearly instantly. Previously, it would take about a minute or so to calculate. Now it's much, much faster. You also have a new option to make it automatic to use the um, field of view automatically from the camera, which is pretty cool. So instead of setting it manually here, you just have to click on the camera here and it will set the right value for you. I really recommend to use the Mesopic version. You have three different kinds of algorithm. Photopic is when you have a lot of light in your scene, but actually I find Mesopic to be really good also for really good light scene. Scotopic is for a night scene more. So here you can see the difference. By the way, we can use the other feature, which is duplicating slots so here in five i don't have anything i can just make a duplicate of this image in slot five and i go to slot five use another version and then i can quickly compare without re-rendering the difference between mesopic here you see the corona around the sun here and here with photopic you don't have that so you can quickly, and also here on the reflection in the metal ball on the floor. You can then duplicate again, go to slot six. I don't know, tweak the amount, maybe only use four flares and then not random. And then you can compare The different version really quickly and then duplicate again and slot for seven and try it again with mesopic so now we have four flares it's symmetrical so you have eight in the end actually four flares with photopic four flares with mesopic then you have a lot of flares and random with photopic and a lot of flares random with mesopic. So it's really cool. It looks really great. It's uh, from really to reproduce what your eyes would do if you had such a string, string, um, strong light in your eyes. And it's now really quick to do iterations with it. Another really cool feature from the new update is that you have the portal creator. So previously you would have to place all your portals yourself. Now you can simply go into edit mode, do your openings. Well, a bit too big so like that and then you can right click and click on portals creator it will place the portals with the perfect fit on your openings and it will also direct the light in the right direction automatically so pointing inwards in your in your room it's a huge time saver and also you will have less noise when rendering with this setup because all the rays will hit the portals instead of uh, going through the walls if it was not set properly. So that would create a lot of noise and tweaking it from hand here takes a lot of time. The portal creator takes care of it for you. So I hope you will also like those smaller features. Um, 
yeah, if you use them well, you will spare a lot of time and your renders will look much better, even if it doesn't look that big, like denoising or light groups. It's also really helpful in your everyday life. I hope so, at, well, at least. So if you have any question, you can contact me as usual per email by answering your Gumroad confirmation mail about these cycles or by clicking on the ask a question button on the Blood and Dark Market product page. Have a nice day. See you.